Hi, this is Carlos Boos of the Utah Jazz, and I'm here to talk to you guys today about post play. And uh, I'm going to talk to you about the low post, which is right here. I'm going to talk to you about the high post, which is here. And um, I'm going to discuss different moves you can use to switch up your defender's looks um, so that you're not predictable. Your objective is to get to that post right, that block right there. So sometimes you have to use tactics. One of the tactics you use is to fake away, do a V-cut, and sometimes come right here and get, do a swim move to get to the block. Other ways you can do it is um, you can either you go to a set of screen and fake the screen and go right to the block. So you can come like this and spin and come right there like this. So those are two other moves you can use to try to trick your defender to get the position that you want. But when I catch it, I like to always see what my defender's doing to see if he's playing me high side, is he playing me low side, and uh, so I read him. And what I do is I like to get some contact. So I, I'll bang into him a little bit and see if he's going to play me tough or if he's going to play me loose. So if he plays me loose, I'm going to go ahead and go dunk it. Like that. But if he plays me tough, when I back into him, sometimes I'll just go slower, crab dribble a little bit real low, crab dribble, and then get like a little hook shot. Me in the post. Especially in this area, there's so many moves you can use from a right-handed hook shot, a left-handed hook shot. You can fake the hook, drop step. I'm one of my favorites to do. I got a fake middle and fade away. Sometimes I like to give my defender a different look. So when I catch the ball, instead of backing him down, I'll face him up. If you want to face him up, give him a different look. You can jab, step him, get him off balance a little bit. You can shoot the jumper if you feel confident. You can drive by him, or you can catch him, face him up. Fake one way, go the other way. Boozer baseline to Memo, back to Booz, wraps it around to Karolinko. Top shot, it! Another big aspect of playing, of having a good post play, is being able to pass out of a double team. So if I get the ball, I start to dribble, get close to the rim, how comes the double team, and sometimes you gotta find a way to find your teammate. A lot of people, um, believe that you have to be, you know, uh, have a physique like mine or like Carl's or like Charles, um, have an overpowering physique to play in the post. And that's not necessarily the case. Um, there's guys in this league that are more slender, but are just very skilled, like a Lamar Odom. One of the best post-up guys in the league, um, you know, is sometimes a guard, like Gary Payton made a career posting up smaller defenders. Um, guys like Chauncey Billups does a good job of posting up small defenders. So you don't have to be necessarily, you know, the buffest guy on the block and have biceps like this here. You know what I'm saying? This is Carlos Booza. I was talking to you guys about post play today. I hope I helped you guys. And uh, this is C. Boo signing out. See you in the playoffs.